Now I've got the plane apart, cleaned up, and the, the knobs are still on obviously, but uh, before I take some test shavings, I'd like to point out some kind of flaws or little problem areas in the kind of finish. Basically, well, the knobs are the big things that stand out to me right away. They are kind of not very cleanly finished. There's kind of brush marks or file marks all over the uh, finish, the varnish kind of stuff. And there's a few pinholes in the front knob here, chips from the, the wood taken out from the knob. Um, but it's generally not very polished really, I guess. But it's, it's not a problem because if you bought this plane, I guess you're a woodworker of some sort and, you know, finish of a couple of knobs isn't going to kill you. Uh, you should be able to do that yourself. Uh, so that's not really a, a huge problem. Next thing uh, is this bed area here uh, on the main casting. On here, the, the frog sits and it kind of gets bolted down. But you can see there's a stripey pattern here, just like on the block plane. Block plane. Uh, these are milling marks. They're not very deep, same as the block plane. They're not deep, but it's not flat. And that kind of reduces the surface area that the, the frog has to sit on, so the stability could be compromised. Although I don't know if that is you know, an issue in real practice. Um, so that's another area. Again, the paint in here, in the throat area here, has either been chipped away, milled away, or not been painted in the first place. So there's some paint missing. You won't even see that. It doesn't really matter. But um, for the main body, that's about the only problems. The frog. Now, the frog generally is just... It, it's nicely machined. This surface is flat. The bottom here is flat. Uh, but there's a, quite a few sharp burrs, especially on in, in this kind of area here. And the front edge, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it's nothing a little bit of sandpaper refiling uh, won't take care of. Um, so that's... That's quite nice actually. And the cap iron, this is the area which probably needs the most work. Now the the finish is generally you know nice, it's, it's polished and whatever, but there's a lot of burrs again uh, on this keyhole area, it's a few burrs, and uh, on this kind of lever here there's actually a um, unfiled edge and it's actually quite sharp. Now if you're going to be kind of you know, opening it and closing it like this, and you suddenly open it and slip, um, you could run the risk of, um, you know, cutting yourself. So I'll be filing that down. But generally it's quite nice. Now the biggest problem with the cap is this front uh, kind of contact area. Now this should ideally be flat, smooth, and mate perfectly with your uh, chip breaker, like here. When it's all assembled it should look something like this. Now, this is actually, it's rough ground, it's, so it's not really smooth, it's probably flat, but there's a, the front edge here is not even. Now if there's gaps here it, between the cap and the blade, shavings will get stuck in there and you'll eventually clog your mouth. Um, so you really want this to be smooth, flat and tight to the, the blade. Now there's a, there's a big chip I can see um, here maybe about five millimeters wide uh, by, I don't know, half a millimeter tall or so, but it's, it's quite a chunky chip. And so I'll have to grind that out, polish it out. And uh, this kind of angle slope here, I'll, I'll refine that a bit, make sure it's nice and gradual and smooth, and it meets this front edge uh, evenly. But um, that, that's probably the biggest kind of time consuming task uh, on the whole plane to fix up if you feel like fixing it up. But generally I think um, it's, it's, it's quite well made, like the block plane. It's, you know, clean, cleanly machined. There's only a few small problem areas like I noted. It sounds like a huge list and it sounds like it might be a lot of hassle and problem to kind of fix them all, but in reality, I think it will take at the most half an hour, at the very most. Um, but, yeah.
oh the blade the blade there's obviously the chip breaker and the blade this is a, a pretty substantial combination you can see um, now there's a problem with this as well and that's that the chip breaker is not ground parallel to the blade so what happens is if you try to snug up the chip breaker right up to the edge to kind of get the maximum chip breaking effect um, you'll get an uneven piece of blade showing so that's not very good not very accurate really uh, kind of makes the whole point uh, useless so I'll be regrinding one or the other or both to try to get them uh, nice and parallel that shouldn't take too much time because it's not it's not actually that far out of parallel um, maybe one degree two degrees so that would be cleaned up but I think this is yeah nice as I said so um, next I'll be taking up some shavings as I'll, I'll put this together uh, do no tuning to it just straight as it was out of the box and I'll take some shavings for you and we'll see how this performs out of the box